Well, the cost of staying alive, families struggling to pay for their prescription medication will have a champion in the state general assembly this year. WJZ is live. Pat Warren has more on what has become a national controversy. Pat? That's right, Mary. You remember the outrage last year over the skyrocketing costs of cancer drugs and EpiPens. EpiPens dispense life-saving medicine to kids with potentially fatal food allergies. So when the company constantly raised the price on the device to deliver the shot, it poked the bear. When did this become a problem for you? Well, my son was diagnosed when he was four months old with, uh, with food allergies. And so he needs an EpiPen. And without an EpiPen, he could have an emergency. Suzanne Schlattman is joining the fight to make drug companies more accountable for their pricing. Call your state senator and delegates now and tell them that we need a prescription drug affordability law. Supporters are hoping to bombard lawmakers with callers urging them to pass prescription affordability bills. These bills require drug companies to explain their high prices, to notify the public of substantial price hikes before they start charging them, and give the attorney general the power to sue if they don't. I want to focus on the price gouging legislation that we're going to be filing. State Attorney General Brian Frosch, along with 19 other states, filed suit last month against six generic drug companies claiming they conspired to fix prices. Some doctors, too, are witnessing the effects. I have patients coming back to me week after week saying, yeah, it was very nice that I took your drug for a couple of days, but I couldn't afford any more, so uh, I stopped taking it. In a statement, the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America opposing the legislation says it jeopardizes innovative research here in Maryland by threatening to reveal proprietary and protected information that keeps companies competitive. That will certainly be open for discussion. And the goal of that discussion will be to make prescription drugs more affordable, but getting to that goal will be tricky. I'm Pat Warren reporting live now back to you, Mayor. All right, Pat, thank you. The General Assembly session opens tomorrow. <laughs>